Hello and welcome back to the Lego Millennium Falcon Mega Build. We're on page 353, um, working on the arse end section back here, the booty of the ship. I've got, I've got this, and for some reason this, and I feel that must be something. Although, looking at, I, you know what, I think this is, this is nothing, or, what? I seem to have left myself in a very confusing situation. I think what's happened here is... Ah, okay. Okay, so I'm actually way back there and I've left this in the wrong place and this is nothing. Okay, that was a, that was a near miss. Right, okay. I can get back into it now. I know what's going on. Mostly. Need a short, short long section. That makes sense, doesn't it? Where does that even go? So I had a massively annoying occurrence happen yesterday, right? I was I was recording some N64 videos. Um, as you know, I've started using an emulation device, a flash drive, an EverDrive 64, flash cart, that's what they call them. Um, been using one of them to play N64 games I, I never owned, or I do own and they don't work anymore, in the case of GoldenEye and a few others. And for some reason, I'm I'm more obsessed by playing. I quite like playing bad license games for some reason. There's a, there's something that intrigues me about them, particularly if the license itself is bad. Um, so I did a, a Bug's Life. That's a good example. Like the the license there is good. The film's good. The the game itself not great. Um, it's not it's not a winner. It's not terrible by any means. I'm sure people a lot of people have fond memories of it. I'm sure some people don't have fond memories of it. So I was in that in that sort of uh, zone of influence. I played uh, I played a game called Hercules: The Legendary Journey, based on the TV series Hercules: The Legendary Journey. That's if my maths is correct. That's probably coming out two days from now, on Thursday. I did that, and th and then I was like, okay, that went well. I might. Yeah, I fancy recording another one. Um, you know, get get ahead, do well. So, uh, so I thought I better not. I I don't want to just play terrible games. I want to, you know, do like one 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 bad game and then one better game the next week. I was like, okay, so I need a I need a good game. And initially, I had looked at a list of the. Um, I think it was like the top fifty. Or so, uh, N sixty four games, and that. That's sort of I had that in my head, so I could get a rough idea of uh, what was good and what wasn't. And the one that sort of sprung up initially was Perfect Dark, but I didn't want to play that because I thought, well, I've I've just played GoldenEye, and it's similar. You know, it's the same same developer. It's going to be a, a fairly similar experience, isn't it? And I was scrolling through, and I found Pokemon Stadium Two, and I thought, ah, that's perfect. I I like the first one. I I didn't ever play the second one. That's ideal. And I assumed it would have like well, for some reason I had it in my head that the second one was like a stripped down version and it was just Pokemon battling. It didn't have the mini games. Uh, as it transpires, it's like a full sequel. So it's got it's got new mini games. It's got the Pokemon battling. It's got the playing the games through the N64 mode. Um so that was that was great, and uh, unfortunately that video is never coming out because I I recorded I, I recorded the I did the mini games first I did a whole thirty minute go on that I'm pretty sure it was one of the best videos I've ever made. Uh, you know what's coming that now that I've set it up with that, um, so I did that and then afterwards I did um, I started doing the. Uh, I used to do this years ago. It was like a version of the D20 challenge with Pokemon. My you just, you roll for whatever Pokemon you get. You roll for six Pokemon, and then you try and beat a gym leader. And it's normally pretty hard, because the Pokemon they give you aren't great. Um, so I was, I was doing that, and I got all through to the point of having a team ready, and I had a power cut. And because it was all one recording, I lost all of that video. So that's 
that's you know my my first recorded reactions of, of Pokemon Stadium 2 lost forever which is very annoying um, I've because my camera has got its own battery which I now realize isn't plugged in that could be an issue Mm. Okay, I've got to fix that. I'm now going to find out just how long this lead is for my microphone. It seems to allow me to get right the way around here. That's great. There we go. Yeah, so like the, the lights went out. All my computers turned off. And the power cut lasted for about like a minute. It was like the most annoying one ever. I was like, so there's no real inconvenience except to me personally. Have I done this step? Yeah. Flip it over, grab you and possibly you. So annoyingly I, I lost that. So now I will do Pokemon Stadium eventually, but it's not going to be for a little while because it hurts, you know. Sometimes you've got to get right back on the horse. Other times it's good to wait a bit, you know, heal from the wound of falling off the horse. That whole saying of, you know, get, get right back on the horse, that, that works with children. It does not work when you're an adult. When you're an adult, it's very much a case of, okay, maybe you should take, take some time heal, uh, get better mentally. Let's set that aside. I'll start down here. So la last time I, I built some sections to go on the back there and then I couldn't be asked to put them on. And when it did actually come to putting them on, it was incredibly easy. They went on perfectly, which makes me think I've made an error that will come back to bite me in about a month's time. It's a possibility. That's good. Now this bit attaches to here, like that. It's, that's, actually, that's way more sturdy than I thought it would be. Set that aside a bit. Grab a shitload more stuff. I really shouldn't swear in these videos. Lego is a, a family brand. No one's watching these anyway. I can say what I want. Glory to the Kaiser. I feel it's it's unacceptable, particularly in today's world, to um, to make any any jokes regarding uh, not so much Hitler, but but Nazis in general. Um, but the the Kaiser has always been and will always be a fair game, as, as far as, as far as I'm concerned. I don't think anyone can take offence by that. I don't. I don't think World War One era Germany were particularly the bad guys. Um, obviously, obviously, from an English point of view, they were, but you know, there were, there were no good guys in that war. It was, it was just all idiots fighting over nothing. Well, mostly nothing. Right, made that now. That's good. Fair warning. I've. Uh, I've yet to eat today. It's um, it's actually what is the time? Ten past twelve. Jesus Christ! I uh, I'm on the old eight sixteen, and it's likely that I won't eat until late tonight. So I got to you know I got to push through, which um, is normally easier. I've only got to, I've only got to push it like an hour later. But it means that right now I'm getting to that point where I think I'm hungry. And the key to that is you have to do two things. One, have no food. Two, drink loads of water. And three is learn to count. No. Three, you need to, you need to tell yourself, be hungry. You're not going to eat. And eventually it will go away and you'll hit this zen-like state where you'll actually... You'll go for hours without needing food and you won't even be hungry. And then you take off all your clothes and you die in the snow. Okay, got that. Oh, it's one of my favourites. You, you take four of these corner pieces, 
you put them together and you pretend they're a pizza and they satiate the hunger. You no, know, you you make a circle. That's what you do. Four of them, one of these, one of these, and not that. It's in a few movies recently. Saw the Equalizer too. Have I spoken about this? I feel like I haven't. It's a good film, good action film. I would say the first one was better, unfortunately, annoyingly. I think this is the wrong pipe. Is there a slightly longer pipe than this available? Doesn't seem like it. This is definitely the wrong pipe. I need one that's just a little bit longer. Hmm. I'll leave that for now. It may appear to me at some point. I'll tell you why I think the first one was better. Because a, a big part of what I liked about the first one was that it wasn't about him. He was just helping a, some people. And it sort of came to him. But in, in this one, that he was sort of investigating a murder investigation. But it was of, of people he knew before he was the equaliser. And it, it, it was like, and then they were just trying to kill him. And it was like, well, you know, this is, this is very much how you, you would conclude a TV series. You'd have, you'd have 19 episodes of him just helping randoms. And in the last episode, it's like someone just goes for him. And it's, it's, a, it's a climactic finale. But in, in, in film terms, it means you've had one film of him being e the equaliser and then, and then the CIA well, some rogues come after him. It's a good film, though. Um, I feel it could have used one more action scene. It, the ones they had were good. It's just that, just one, one more, one more of him nonchalantly solving crime. I think there's there was a scene where he kind of assaulted some gangbangers. It never really went anywhere. This is bad. I'm missing a pipe. How? It's supposed to be twice as long as this. That's the thing. The only logical thing is that I've used it somewhere else, which makes perfect sense and would be easy to figure out, except it was ages ago when I last recorded this and I can't remember anything. Uh, let's see. No, not there. I think they're all, ah, it's here, it's right here, just immediately saw it. Okay, let's tear that one. Right, so I've, I've lifted that off and I haven't paid close enough attention to see where I've got to now put it back. Let's see, it was clearly, clearly here, wasn't it? There we go. Normally they give you a, like a scale drawing of the pipes and tube pieces so that you can't mess it up. I feel they may have given me one earlier and I ignored it. Alright, now I nearly need, need to add 16 of these. Picked up 8 perfectly. Oddly proud of myself there. Eh? It's all the happy time murders. Uh, the um, puppet adult film. Very odd film. I've, I thought it was about Melissa McCarthy and she was the main character, but she's not. The puppet's the main character and she's sort of, not a side character, but like, if it was a buddy cop, well, she's, you know, she's not in it to be like, yeah, she's just not the main character. Which was disappointing. The, the whole film's pretty disappointing, to be honest. I knew, I knew it got bad reviews. I didn't think it would be good. But I, I, like, to, I like to support comedy. And I like to support comedies that are, that are a bit weird. And a puppet-based one is a bit weird, isn't it? In fact, probably the best bit was the bit at the end. There was a behind-the-scenes of them doing all the puppet stuff. It was just very funny. It, no, I wouldn't say it was even funny. It's just... It's just interesting seeing puppets, isn't it? Are they Muppets or are they puppets? That's, that's the question. They're puppets. They're not allowed to call them Muppets. That's a protected term. 
it was oddly serious as well. It was it was it was like if you if you took the script and stopped them from being puppets and just made them humans, then it then it was like like it it wasn't that much of a comedy. Nearly all of the comedy purely came from the fact that they were puppets. Which is, is fine. It's it's a way to go with it, but it was like it didn't it didn't quite go enough. It was it was aiming for who framed Roger Rabbit, I feel, like thematically. That was probably where it came closest. But just didn't didn't quite do enough. It was like a low budget version of that, really. If you can imagine such a thing. I'm trying to think if there are any like particularly good jokes in it. There's a bit of por a porn shop that was quite good. Thinking about it, that was that was enjoyable. Oh, it's it's a classic. Watch it on net on the, on like Netflix sort of film. You got you got to watch it in such a way that you don't pay for it directly. I feel that's that's the key. I saw it at the cinema, but I didn't I didn't pay for it directly, so so it counts. Yep. Classically, I. I got carried away putting on those 16 bits and just ignored this bit. Right, that's good. Made a huge error in judgment as well. I was going to see this film called Upgrade, which I'd never heard of, but I saw the list in, so I was like, that's, that's got the sort of name that I could watch. So I, I, wa I watched the trailer... And I, I didn't watch all of the trailer because I because I'd not heard of the film. I was like, well, if this is something that I'm going to watch, I just need a flavour. So I watched like the first half of the trailer. And I was like, yeah, that looks like the sort of film I'd see. Um, <clears throat> kind of looked like RoboCop essentially. In fact, pretty what I think it was aiming to look like RoboCop. I thought, okay, yeah, I'll see that. And before I booked the tickets, I was like, hang on. This is a Bloomhouse film, or Blumhouse, or whatever, how it's pronounced. And I was like, they normally only really make horror films as a rule. And I was like, I don't want to get tricked into watching a horror film here. Which, you, you know, I'm, I'm a massive wuss. I hate horror films. I avoid them at all costs. However, because I'm also a man, I try and appear, appear brave on the outside of it. And we'll say that, ah, oh, no, I'd... Don't want to see Hereditary. That looks shit. Whereas Secret is like, don't want to see that. That will terrify me. <laughs> I won't sleep for a week. Or, a, or, the, or another good example of that is that The Nun, the film The Nun, about a scary nun, as far as I'm aware. Someone, someone mentioned somewhere on some online thing where it's like, yeah, I really hate the trailer for The Nun because they just put a jump scare in it. And I was like, well, that's a dick move. And now I keep seeing trailers for the nun, and I'm like, well, I know there's a jump scare in it. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna intently look at my phone for the whole of this trailer. My phone's not even on. I'm not. That, I'm. Not, I'm. I'm in the cinema. I'm not savage. I wouldn't have it on. So several times now, but I've been not looking at all at the trailer. I'll normally have earphones in as well, and I'll just, uh, I'll see, um, I'll see it clearly coming because it, it gets real quiet, like you can imagine. Well, that's not good. I'm a piece short. Yeah, it'll get real quiet, and the and then the thing will happen, and there'll be a loud noise, obviously, and people like you can tell people in the screen and they're jumping, and I'm like, yeah, that's annoying. I'm I'm half tempted to complain to someone. I'm like, I don't want to be that guy complaining to advertising standards, but I don't like this. <laughs> it makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> if pe if people can complain about seeing athletic women in in the London underground I can complain about a scary nun is it this no oh. all right that's not I'm the bit I'm missing is is like the bigger version of this which is it's not good because that's a that's a big piece there's a chance I put it in the wrong place somewhere and like because I've got this one spare I'm wondering maybe that's it I think what I'll, I'll go forward without it, and then something, something panic. Yeah, so I was I was gonna see uh, upgrade, but then 
I, I, I googled it. I went on the Wikipedia page because I was like, I want to get information about this, but not too much information. And it said the genre was body horror, and I was like, that's see, that's that's a genre which it it doesn't really mean anything. I was like, I don't like don't like the use of that word horror though in there. It might you know this might this might turn freaky or whatever. So I dumbly read the synopsis for it, or the the actual plot summary, in fact. And I was like, well, clearly it wasn't a horror film. Definitely should have seen it. I've completely ruined it for myself, though, so now I can't. So that's that's the huge error I've made with that. All right, so all these bits go on. But where? Start with this one. This is my, yeah, that's my link. Funnily enough, my, one of my favourite films is uh, Starship Troopers. By if you're not aware, it's uh, it's kind of a. I don't really want to call it a B movie, but it's kind of a B movie esque sci fi action film. Great film, brilliant. If you never watched it, watch it. It's, it's great. It's got nudity, nudity. Um, all right, everything is off somehow. But how? Space there. What? Oh, I see. Wait. What? Uh, yeah, so Starship Troopers, one of my favourite films. A film I've rewatched many times and is a very enjoyable film to me. Um, Total Recall. Now the linking factor there is they're both by Paul Verhoeven and they're both sci-fi films. He does, he's kind of famously known for sci-fi because he made a lot of big ones, but he's by no means a sci-fi director. He's made, he's made three in total. Uh, the, the other one being Robocop, which I've never seen. And logically I should watch it because it will, will quite likely end up being one of my favorite films as as it's a style and thing of film I clearly like. And yet another part of me is like, I should I should not watch it, purely because it's like, if, if you watch that, that's it, you're done. You've got no more, got no more Paul Verhoeven sci-fi films to watch. Um, on, a, on a related note as well, I read the book for Starship Troopers. Very, very different book to the film. I enjoyed, I'm one of the few people who enjoyed the book and the film. There's a significant, it, it seems like, it seems almost impossible to enjoy both. There's people who enjoy the, the book and like the film and hate the film. And then there's people who love the film and hate the book. I think it's because of the strong political nature of the thing. I really like both. Because <laughs> um, I'm a weirdo, apparently. Where the fuck does this go? Here? Yes, exactly there. All right, now for something completely different. Which I believe is a Monty Python thing. I've never been into Monty Python. Saw the life of Brian. Thought it was okay, nothing special. I like Faulty Towers, which isn't Monty Python at all. I've just it's never something I've been a fan of. It's it's that it's that sort of great misstep. Because in theory I should be. It's English for a start. I like a lot of stuff sort of around it. Never been into it. Right. Put this here and we're done. Okay, need these three bits here. One of these and one of them. That bit there, little circle thing. So this goes up here. Somehow, like that, yeah, like that. God, I'm hungry. I wonder what I'll eat. Something big, I suspect. Although, I've got a real, real hankering for a bowl of shreddies. There's, there's cereal's one of those things. It's a very unique sort of, uh, 
it's it's something that's normally crunchy, but also cold, and there's milk involved, and it can be sweet. It's it's a it's an unusual combination of things. Normally, things that are crunchy will tend to be savoury. I I've I've noticed that's something I get like now, where I a lot of the time, when I'm craving food, it's not it's not like the flavour of the thing I want. It's quite often the the texture I want. So you know, some sometimes you just you want a bit of crunch, don't you? It's, uh, okay. Nice bowl of shreddies. They got a very, there's an unusualness to them. They they trap a bit of milk in. They keep their crunch well, but not too well. And they're very square as well. Terrible for you though. Just awful. Like all all cereal, it's just absolutely terrible for you. It's a it's a fact. Where the fuck does this go? Oh, over here. Trying to see the changes on these these grey on grey situations is not easy. It has occurred to me, mainly just now, that I've got nowhere to actually put this when it's done. And on top of that, it's going to be hard to put it anywhere because it's, it's heavy. I don't even know how easily you can lift it once it's all together. I may have built it here and here it will stay. Which wouldn't be the worst thing. That's I could, I could work with that, I suppose. It's the equivalent of... Uh, of if you have like a real large piece of furniture in the room and you wonder how did they get that in there and you realise they actually put the furniture there and then built the room around it. Which is a situation that is probably quite unique but is actually one I'm in in that the desk I use is so large that the room was built around it and to remove it would require removing several doors and windows to get it out. So it's kind of the white elephant of my studio office here. Right, so I need these four and this wheel for just a bit of idle decoration apparently. That goes sort of there at a jaunty angle. This one hangs over. Like, like that, that kind of, yep, that works. This one over here. Pasta. I know if I'm normally what I do if I'm really hungry and I don't know what to have, I end up making some pasta. Good hearty meal. You know, it's, it's hot. I can experiment with flavours. Right, so that. No, didn't put the wheel on. This goes here, but I'm a piece short, aren't I? Or am I? I never did put that bit on that was that I couldn't find. But it seems to not be from the top. I think it's from the bottom. Or is it? I may have put it on earlier by accident. Um, where was the step? Here. So they go... Oh, no, if it's in there. Um, yeah. Shit. Let's investigate. Where could it be? On here, obviously. Um, okay, well, this section has it, and this is its mirror zone. But actually, it's only somewhat mirrored. Not entirely so. I think the best bet for finding it is to go through the instructions and to find out where this is supposed to go and see if I just put it there instead. Which is possible because it's got a right angle on it. It would just be stuck out a bit. You know what? Just save my place there, make it a bit easier for a minute from now. Um, okay, so this section has one of them. No. This is the same bag. Ah, this required eight of them. No, they're just for circles, that's fine. 
Where was that? Where, where was this bit I was just looking at? It could be here. This is very easy to remove, I hope. It is, good. They make these easy to remove, so you can just take them off for looking at the insides and such. Okay, that fell apart. That's kind of supposed to happen, but maybe it's not. Oh yeah, it is. Okay. All right, so maybe somewhere on here, perhaps, is, ah, could be this bit we're looking at. God, this is so hard to look at. It's somewhat deconstructed, but not entirely. Um, okay. What is this? So this, okay. So that's fine. That's that's supposed to be in there. But now I'm thinking it could be... That's fine. It's, so I need to look at this circular bit, sort of jutting forward. In here, it's somewhere in this page. Yes, I found that this is wrong. I reckon I can do this in, in one. If I just take this little bottom piece off. Separate, you bastard. It's just, it's too firmly in there. There's too many points of contact. If I had a knife, what do I have? My teeth? I've trimmed my nails too recently, damn it. I just had some claws to work with. Okay, all right, there we go. Got it out. Wait, is this even the right size? Actually, I'm, I'm now thinking that I'm, I may be in error and I shouldn't have taken this out. No, this is, there we go, yeah. This is it, this is solved now. Okay, this is almost solved now. I've just got to reassemble this, these several pieces, and then we'll be back to where we should have started at. How could I not notice that? Like, it's, it's clearly the wrong piece. God, I'm an idiot sometimes. Sometimes. Um, let's see, that's supposed to be flush. Okay, so that's that's been successfully rebuilt. Now I have to put it back on here. There we are. And this came off of uh, over here. How does it go? It stabs into something, but what? I can't remember now. Is it here? Ah, oh, bollocks. Death to America. What? No. Um. Ah, oh, for God's sake. Okay, yeah, okay, here we are. There we go. And we just push that in. Yep, there we go. That's fine. That's how it's meant to be. That's good. I assume we're going to make a kind of a central thing here that will provide stability to all of those. And that, now I add this, wait, no, I've still got to finish building this. Okay, what in the name of hell did I do with the bit I just took off? Okay, lift this up. Okay, that's stuck on there. That's, ah, oh God. Ah, that hurts so badly. I regret everything about trimming my nails. Um. Get that in there. Turn that back round. Okay, now this is done. And it goes on the, what does it stab into? Doesn't really want to show you, that's fine, I'll figure it out. Okay, that doesn't fit well. Why isn't that fitting well? Well there goes my water bowl. Better, not great. Okay. 
Right, so we're left with that, which is disconcerting. That should probably definitely be somewhere. Might just have a quick browse for where. What's it? Actually, hang on. Yeah, so it is a new bag. So we're left with a few pieces here that are questionable. Um, so I'm just going to do a quick once over to see if there's anywhere obvious they should go. Because it's easier to do it now than any other time. Let's also put a little bookmark in place. Almost on bag 13. That will be the excitement is palpable or palpatine to make a joke that doesn't work in any way. Um, no, not there. My phone just vibrated. Oh, so it vibrated at the exact same. No, it's just someone liking a tweet of mine. That's that's a common occurrence for me. That shouldn't come as any kind of surprise. Could be this section, which I believe is that strip back there. Okay, doesn't look like it. I've now thought of a better method for looking for this. It's a flat piece, which means it can only really go on top. And since it's not on this one, because I'm perfect, and it's not on that one, it can only come off that one that I just picked up. So if I just look at a picture of the finished thing using my incredible brain, I should notice where the difference lies. I got nothing, I give up immediately. Let's just go over there with the other nonsense pieces that I'm not sure about. See, most of these are small enough not to worry about, but not all of them. Not all of them. Right, bag 13. How exciting. Two bags. Now it's time. Kind of reminds me of opening bags of sweets. Um, I don't know, maybe I'm just hungry. Right. So I'm making uh, one of the butt cheeks now. In fact, I'm making both of the butt cheeks. If, that's what I, if this is the crack, then, then these are the very much the cheeks. I should rotate this round, really, shouldn't I? It's too late for that, though. Too much work. Or too, too much like hard work, as I would say if I was trying to insult someone who doesn't really do their job that well. Two, three. I'm, I'm at that stage where I'm annoyed because I just finished that bag so I knew where everything was and there wasn't that much stuff and now there's loads of stuff suddenly although I'm sure the bags are getting smaller I feel like there were times early on when I'd, I'd open stuff up and it would be like it would be way more than this maybe I'm getting some kind of space craziness 
Right, that's step one. Step two. Maybe I'll go out for food. That'd be a different one, wouldn't it? Just go down the pub alone, take a book with you, but don't open it. Or, t or you, you, go, you, go to, you go to a pub or restaurant on your own, you order a meal, you have a book with you, but you don't even, you don't even open that book at all until you've finished eating. And the staff are like, how long is he planning to stay here? I mean, we can't really kick him out. He's eaten, he's, he's, he's paid his way, but, but my God, he's just sat reading. We gave him a booth because he got here so early and no one else would want it. But now, now we're filling up. Do we move him? This is awkward. And then right, right as they ask you to leave, it's at the height of its awkwardness. That, that's when you say, oh, I'm just waiting on some friends. And then you, you somehow materialize six other people to appear and you order another meal. And the staff are like, Jesus, what is, what is this man? Or you use a trick I saw in the film, The Lonely Guy. I think that's what it was called, it's a Steve Martin film. Um, I feel it was a film that would be way more resonant with people. Now, I've gone wrong somehow. I've gone way massively wrong. Nothing fits. There's a film about someone who, I think he gets divorced at the start and it, I can't even remember the exact story to be honest. It was kind of an odd one where he pretty much just realizes he, he's kind of got no friends or anything. So he just, he ends up having to do a lot of stuff alone. And one of them was was going to restaurants, and it just the scene in a restaurant of they they see him like a four person real high end restaurant, and he's like on his own there, and it, it kind of so he sits down and like they clear away the rest of the table, and it makes a huge noise, so everyone turns and looks at him, and he discovers that a good trick is you you take a notebook with you, and you make notes like you're a, a food critic. <laughs> Which is genius. I don't think it would work now because I don't think food critic is a thing because everyone is one. Um, well, yeah, kind of everyone is. What with Instagram and that, but but uh, you know, for a time that was that would have been like a great move, wouldn't it? I think there's a lot of jokes about suicide in it as well. It's an odd film. An odd film, I'll say that much. Steve Martin doesn't really do comedies anymore and it's a shame. I understand it. You know, you've achieved perfection, why bother? God, Three Amigos, that's, that's probably, that's one of my favorite films. That's such a good film, so very funny. Very, very funny. Uh, what? Oh. It's calling for a white bit. I was like, I can't see any white bits, and it's because the, the lights reflect down and they make the grey look white and the white look white, so they all look the same. And I die a little inside whenever it asks for it. I remember, I, I now remember hearing some really good news this morning, but I can't remember what it was. It was, I know it was video game related, and I. I seem to recall it was, it was, am I doing this right? That's what's missing. I'm sure I remember reading that there were, there was a, a sequel coming out to a really obscure game that I was a massive fan of. Ah, oh, yeah, I know what it was. It was a Rebel Rebel Galaxy, yeah, that's it. A, a teaser just came out for Rebel Galaxy Outlaw, I think they've called it. I really like the game Rebel Galaxy. It, it wasn't an obscure game, actually. I, I think it was like a a middle ground indie hit, that's what I'll say. Like, not as big as Meat Boy or Stardew Valley or, you know, those massive indie games, but no but also not some tiny obscure thing. It was like, it was middle ground is what I'd say. But I loved it. It, it, it was the exact level of space game I wanted. Not, not too arcadey that it's just a shooter, but not so simmy that you, you know, elite, where you're flying through the galaxy and you don't really do anything. 
and any anything you do do is like painfully difficult. It just it was just the right level for me. And as such, I played it to death. Like it, it's a game where the story might take you like six or seven hours to complete. I think I put like fifty hours into it. It's ridiculous. I'm almost embarrassed by the amount I played it. So, but apparently, there's a sequel coming. Unfortunately, it seems to be in a completely different style and more of a spin-off, which is annoying. But who knows? Who knows? If I like the first one, maybe I'll love, I'll love this one anyway. That's... Right. Now I need a couple more bits. But I'm, I, yeah, quietly hopeful that'll be good. There was a slightly cursed Nintendo Direct. Although, well, it might have come out now. It, initially, I thought it was... I thought it was going to be on a Wednesday night about half 11, which was perfect for me because I, on a Wednesday night, I normally get in around sort of half 10, 11. I was like, that's great. I'll get in, have a shower, get in bed, watch a Nintendo Direct. They're great when you watch them live because it's, it's, well, you, you never know what's coming. If you, if you watch them after the fact, they're, they're, they're still all right. But it's like, you know, you, you kind of know what's happening. There's no massive surprises. And then I was like, right, it should be on right now. I'll go on YouTube. Because I'd seen it earlier on YouTube. It was like, set a reminder for whatever. I didn't set a reminder because I have no idea what that would do. I'm scared of change. But I was like, hey, where is it? This should be this should be front and centre on my homepage. I was like, that's, that's very strange. Maybe, maybe I misread it and it, it was a direct, but it was like an American one. Or yeah, not a non-UK one. And, and then I discovered that it was actually the next day. Um, today, in fact, was when it was supposed to be. I was like, ah, damn it, well, that's, that's sort of altered my plans that I'd made on the fly. And uh, and then today it got cancelled because there was an earthquake. And you can't be mad at that, um, you know, because people may have died. And it's a great shame. This is wrong. This is, this is, this is the wrong piece. This is too large. Don't want to use that. That can result in many issues later on down the line. As we've learned today alone. Okay, that's good. That's that bit done. The big old section. There's a lot going on here. I'm so hungry. I'm also quite thirsty, and I think I threw my water bottle away. There's nothing in here. I have this total lack of foresight in life where when I fill my water bottle up, even though I know for a fact, I'll drink it in like a day, sometimes less than a day. But when I fill it up, I think that's it now. Won't need to fill that up for ages. I've got water. I'm golden. And then when it when it's empty, I'll, if I'm if I'm not careful, I'll I'll sit and play Monster Hunter for ages and just like not drink. And when I finish, I'll get up crippled and think, why do I feel so terrible? You're dehydrated, Ben. You need to drink. I have a strong ability for not drinking, you see. Um, I can really fight my body's instincts and not drink for way too long at a time. I, I don't, but I can, if need be. It's a useless, debilitating ability, which is likely to get one killed. I the, only, the only place where it would be an advantage, I suppose, if you're, is, is you're stuck out at sea and it would reduce the temptation to drink the salt water. That's that's literally the only time I can see that ability being any use whatsoever. Right, that good. Okay, not yet. And then here, is that right? Yep. Oh yeah, that's nice. That's good. That's some big flat panel bits going in there. That's what you want. That's, that's satisfying to add. Got a little spike there to catch your thumb on. Perfect. There's a Snickers on my desk. Just tempting me to eat it. It's like, go on, have a Snickers. They're nice, aren't they? They're delicious. I find a Mars bar too much. It's um, way too much, but throwing in the nuts, make it a Snickers, that just, that just alleviates it and then elevates it to a whole nother level. But 
but I'm, I'm at the point where I've had enough tins of celebrations, which if you're not aware, is a, a, t- a tin full of small chocolates about, about that big, and they're like tiny varieties of regular chocolate bars. Um, some of them are more uh, divisive than others. Bounty, for example, which if you're not familiar, is the devil's spawn and is a chocolate bar with an extreme amount of coconut in it. It's essentially a desiccated coconut wrapped in chocolate and it's bloody disgusting. Um, but aside from them, I'll eat anything in the tin and I don't like things going to waste, so I'll, I'll eat them all. And in, and in fact, due to a, it's not OCD, but just a, a weird quirk of myself, if, if there's a tin of celebrations and there's like, odd amounts of things I like to eat in such a way as to even the numbers out which is difficult because there are some savages that will just just strike all the Maltesers straight away and I think you bastards that those are for everyone you, if you want a, if you want one celebration fine take the Malteser if you want five celebrations you have to have five different ones you can't take all of one that's just a dick move unless that one is the bounty that's fine. Everyone's agreed on that. There's there's not enough people in the world who like bounties that they can be in fighting with each other. There's such an endangered type. Alright. I've half asked this again. I, I started putting getting all the pieces together and then I stopped and started putting them on and it's just it's ruined me. Ruined. This is this all feels wrong. Because I put this piece on backwards is why it's wrong. <laughs> I was trying to count the squares off and nothing was lining up. And I couldn't figure out why. There we go. Let's just, let's not do them. Let's let's start back down here at the at the simpler things, the things I know where they go. Give myself a frame of reference at least. You idiot. Okay. All right. There we go. I had a pleasing moment as well. I've been seeing trailers for the film Yardi for a while, which um, I think is directed by uh, Idris Elba. In fact, I know it's directed by him. I don't know what else it is, if it's like written by him. I, I'm almost certain he's not in it, though. He's definitely not the star if he is in it. Um, now, I, I like Idris Elba. But I don't like him enough that he gets a free pass, uh, if you know what I mean. And I don't like him after what he did to Jim in the office. That was unforgivable. It was just a general dick in the office, wasn't he? He kicked Phyllis in the head with a football and it's supposed to be her fault. Yeah, Jim's fault even. Although he does clearly teach her something because later on in the office when they go to Gettysburg and Andy throws a hat, to Phyllis and says think fast she does she dodges immediately and it hits Gabe in the head which is a little throwback that I've never seen anyone bring up before because no one ever watches the later seasons of The Office apparently except me but it's a funny moment um, yeah I haven't seen the trailers for it and it as a film I was like so it's a crime film okay but it's, it doesn't look overly gritty and historical and it doesn't look like vaguely committed uh, comedic and sort of dark comedy esque, a la Snatch and Lockstock. Like you know, there's there's two ways a crime film can go, and if it if it doesn't go down those two ro- routes, it's normally not very good because it's somewhere in the middle, and you're like, it's a bit meh. I felt that's what it kind of looked like to me, and uh, yeah, I was gonna give it the benefit of the doubt because they 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 were they were obviously plugging it well. And then the reviews came out and they said almost exactly what I had initially thought. I was like, yeah, good. I I, I, know, I spotted that straight away. I'm, I'm glad of that. My my abilities to deduce a film based on trailers and therefore judge books based on their covers is still accurate. Doesn't always work. Shouldn't always do it. But, yeah, it does work sometimes. Okay. Where? Okay, that one. On there, two of these. Oh, I'm so hungry. There we go, 
two of these little bits. I'm at the point of hunger where I'm gonna go and make some food. And it'll be a vast quantity of food. But before I even start, I'll have to, I'll have to just have a little something to tide me over. Possibly a handful of nuts, peanuts, salted, roasted, ideally. Well, no, ideally it would be cashew nuts, honey roasted. They're the best form of nuts, but they're, they're, they're too expensive to have unless it's an occasion. And on top of that, they're so good that if you buy them, they're, they're, you just eat them all at once. They're too good. Which is an odd state to be in. It's like, yeah, I, I love your food. It's great. It's too good, though. <laughs> I can't stop eating it. Does me a mischief. Um, okay, so I now need to make these into kind of turret-looking things. Even though they're not turrets, I know this to be true. I thought I was waning on Monster Hunter for a while, um, but, that, but now I'm, I'm in that state where I'm playing it and I'm like, I've built all my weapons, so I'm not really grinding out equipment so much anymore. It's more like, it's more like numbers. I'm doing something that I always endeavor to do in Monster Hunter. I don't think I've ever achieved it, and it's to complete all the quests. And I'm, I'm, I'm doing fair on it, but normally what happens is some of the later quests they'll give you will be insanely difficult. It'll be like, yeah, kill these five monsters in a row naked. <laughs> I don't think this one will do that, but sometimes they do that. Um, nearly got distracted and, and stopped picking up pieces that I need. Always asking for danger. Okay, now we're good. I was, yeah, I was starting to wane on it. And then, then they said, oh yeah, Devil Yo's coming out today. I was like, brilliant, Devil Yo. Love and hate the Devil Yo. More importantly, some more weapons. Because that game is 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 like, underserved in a number of weapons. Unfortunately, Devil Yo weapons traditionally are a dragon element weapon. And there are far too many dragon element weapons in that game. Nearly all of the high tier weapons are dragon element. Which is fine if you're fighting things weak to dragon. Most things aren't, though. In fact, the only things weak to dragon are the things that give you the dragon element weapons. So you get in a, in a situation of... You kill the dragon to get the dragon element weapon. So you've got a weapon for killing dragons, but you've already killed the dragons. So why kill more dragons? That's fine. That's where the game goes. I've actually finally started playing online as well. I, I played everything single player and then kind of moved to online at the end of the game, which... I think is the most sensible way to do it. And a lot of people don't, they, they pretty much play it all online, which in some ways it is more fun. Um, it's different, certainly, but it means you, you don't often get that good at the game on your own. So like you tend to die and stuff and there's, there's certain systems you aren't quite as confident with. And you, you do see it online. You see players who like, they've kind of got, they can kind of walk the walk and talk the talk, but not quite, you know. Or if I was going to say that again, I'd say they can talk the talk, but they can't quite walk the walk, which is the actual saying. That's good. That's done. I suddenly smell fire. Or barbecue. I really am hungry. Brought a Kami on, the, on Switch. I've been picking my Switch up a lot recently. I've been thinking, I want to play this. I don't want to play any of the games I already have on it, though. I feel I need to buy something new. And I, was, I, I keep opening up the store, and I ummed and ahed for ages on getting... I think it's called Blossom Tail, which uh, basically is as close to Link to the Past as you can get on the Switch, because you can't get a Link to the Past on the Switch yet, legally. Um, and it was on sale for, like, 30% off, and I was like... I really should get this now. And then the next day it was off sale. I was like, well, I'll take that as a sign and not get it. I ended up buying Akami HD. Because I was like, well, yeah, I really want to play this again. And I happened to have a window where I could play it. Because I was basically for part of my job that day. I'm blessed, I know. I basically had to sit around on the side of a road for five hours, oh, well, three and a half hours and not doing do anything. So I played the first three and a half hours of Akami HD. And it's great. It's um it's as good as I remember. 
actually a little bit easier than I remember, and I remembered it being easy. And just I just I just enjoy all of the systems in it. It's just sort of very fun and cathartic. I'd almost I'd almost say it's reminiscent of playing a Lego game in some way, where you kind of it's not overly hard. You kind of always know what you're you're doing, and it's just like just a nice experience. I should definitely finish this step I'm on because there's a lot of pieces involved. That was the time that just went off, um, obviously. Right, I need to, I need to put these in a logical place so I can even look at them right. So that's that. It's those four over there. These bastards won't stop rolling around. I'm t I'm trying to put you in place so I know where to use you, and you won't fucking stop. Arseholes. I'm of course talking to a Lego. Ah, there we go. Two of those and then four of these. I was talking to someone uh, IRL. God, I hated saying that. Um, and they, they're, they're one of the few people I know who are aware I have this channel and do this. And they're uh, they were saying, oh, have you, have you finished building your uh, Millennium Falcon yet? And I was like, no, I, I, I build it week to week. And he goes, yeah, I, I, I knew you were doing that week to week, but I wasn't sure if you'd, uh, if you'd gone ahead and, and filmed those in advance. And I, I was like, fair play. He was aware that, you know, I, I used to quite often film several weeks or in, in some cases almost months in advance. But I was like, you think, you think I've filmed multiple hour-length videos in advance where the only thing to talk about is, is what films I've seen recently. I was like, how would they even work? I would have nothing to say on like the second one. I have nothing to say as it is. I might have some eggs actually. It's a big old bowl of boiled eggs. I love a boiled egg. It's like they're easy to cook, but they're a pain after that because you've got to sit and peel them. And it's one of them where it's, it's almost like an advanced form of like monkey nuts or pistachio nuts where they're delicious. And it's it's hard to tell whether the like the shelling and cracking aspect of it makes them like makes you eat more of them because it takes longer or makes them taste nicer because it takes longer to eat them. There's, there's something in there. Some psychological aspect. I've run out of water. A headache is building from the lack of food. And I'm done. Behold. It's nothing really. Oh, I'm up. I'm near. Next week, I'll be on the 1,000th step, I predict. Yep. Two pages time. That'll be exciting. So that was, uh, I think we're up around like 22, I want to say. Something like that. Uh, thanks for watching, I'll see you next time for more of this nonsense. I'll see you then.